This is Wes Blaze. I am here at RCW for the weekly workout because that's what real athletes do. They train. They prepare. And you want to know one person that I don't see here? That is one all that Chris Michaels. And I'll tell you why. It's because Chris Michaels is not a legitimate athlete. He is nowhere near the athlete that Wes Blaze is. And that is why it angers me so much that he is even considered in my league. That's why it angers me that he is in the No Limits title match because it is people like him that I've been preaching about. People with less ability, less talent, less determination than Wes Blaze getting the opportunities that they do not deserve. Which is why I'm issuing an open challenge to one Chris Michaels right now. You see, you got the best of me in the first qualifying match. A simple fluke. You, got, you was at the right place at the right time. I went for the boot, you moved, you rolled me up. Congratulations. You joined the elite club of people that has actually beaten West Plays, but I assure you it will not happen again. Because see you, Chris Michaels, if you are man enough to accept my challenge for this Saturday night, it won't matter if you are in the right place at the right time because the only place you're gonna be is in that ring on the receiving end of an OMG moment. I'm gonna prove once and for all that I will not be overshadowed, I will not be overlooked, I will not be underestimated, no more. If I have it my way, Chris Michaels, you won't even walk out of that ring. And I will go on to become the No Limits Champion. Because you see, I've qualified as well. I beat three top athletes. I beat your beloved Jason Fear, the phenomenal one. <laughs> Wasn't so phenomenal when I was done with him. All it took was a spine buster and he was out. Now people might argue that he would have had me beat, but he didn't notice my foot on the rope. But see, it just shows that he didn't have me beat or I wouldn't have been able to get my feet on the rope in the first place. I beat Adrian Guerrero, a great Hispanic Latino wrestler. Comes from a long tradition. It is a heritage, a sport, a honor to wrestle in Mexico. And he brings that ability here to Chatsworth, Georgia. I beat him too. And then the last one, my former partner, one half of the hot bodies just in case. Everyone thought that was going to throw me off my game, him coming back. <laughs> but as you can see, the people didn't even really know who he was. So I wasn't sweating it. Now see, Jason Fear, yourself, you have great ability. You're one of my toughest competitors I've ever stepped in the ring with. But there's one thing working against you. You are too worried about pandering to the fans. You are too worried about making them happy. And what has it got you, Jason? Loss after loss after loss. You see these people, they don't care about you. All they care about is that bandana that you throw out before the match. <laughs> anyway, I'm getting off subject here. This Saturday, Chris Michaels, you say you're all that. Let's see if you can prove it. Let's see if you can back it up. Let's see if you can prove that you deserve to be on the same marquee as Wes Blaze. If you are man enough and you accept this challenge, then I will see you this Saturday night one-on-one. -on -one. I will beat you in the middle of that ring, and I will show everyone without a shadow of a doubt that you do not belong in the same ring as Wes Blaze. I will take you to school. I will hurt you, Chris. If you do not understand what I am saying, then I will show you directly this Saturday night. That is if you're man enough. As you see, the only person in RCW that is all that is the former RCW champion, which I never lost. The former FXW champion and the final FXW champion. Two-time RCW United States champion. RCW Tag Team Champion. I've been a champion in the AWA. I've been a champion in the NWA. I've represented the whole state of Florida as the Wrestling Guild Tag Team Champions. And you have to be considered by a committee of elite veterans to even qualify for a match. And I was their champion. It's because I am the best in this area. I'm the second generation star and I excel in everything I do. When I set goals, I achieve them. When I say I'm gonna do something, I do it. Whenever I talk trash, I always back it up. 
Not sure I can say the same about you, Chris. But now you have that opportunity. All you have to do is accept my challenge. I hope you do. Because I know your response, whether you accept it or not, you're going to be cocky about it. You're going to try to look good in front of your fans. But deep down, you know you'll be sitting there after you watch this video and you'll be sitting there questioning yourself. You will be asking yourself, am I man enough to go one-on-one -on -one with Wes Blaze? This is your opportunity, Chris. Don't let it pass you. You want to cement your legacy. You want to show everyone that you should be in the same league as Wes Blaze. You want to show everyone that you deserve a shot to become the first ever No Limits champion. You beat me, and I'll relinquish my spot in the No Limits Championship because if I can't beat you, I shouldn't be wrestling in the first place. So the challenge is laid down. I've said it multiple times to make sure that your puny brain through all that hair gel can get the point. You beat me, I relinquish my spot. I beat you, it won't be nothing necessary because your ego, your pride, will be scarred. And even if you do decide to go on to the cage match, the four away for the No Limits title, you'll have that in the back of your head that you were beaten by the best and that you are just wasting your time. You can try with all your might, but you will not overshadow me. Nobody will overshadow me. I am West Blaze. I am the modern day legend. And I'm going to prove it to each and every one of you. It'll be an OMG moment you'll never forget.